All right, we are sure that everyone has already heard about Lionel Messi's incredible contract at Inter Miami. Not to mention the crazy money Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Benzema and others are making in Saudi Arabia. But as it turns out, not all players need to perform at the top level in order to earn astronomical amounts. Hi there, friends! Today we are about to tell you why Messi is not the wealthiest player at Inter Miami. Surprised? We were totally shocked to discover it too, but it's true. So, who is he? What kind of football player is this? And what other unexpected players are billionaires? Let us show you in this video. Let's get going! Yes, this same Ecuadorian to whom Messi delivered two assists in the MLS Cup semifinals has a greater fortune than the legendary Argentine. We were no less surprised by this fact than you are. Why so, you would ask, and we will answer. The fact is that money is embedded in Campana's DNA. His family is famous for being one of the wealthiest in Ecuador. Leonardo's father, Pablo, is a former tennis player. Not very successful one, but he participated in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. Pablo Campana has never climbed higher than 165th place in the ATP World Rankings. However, as it turned out, professional sports is not his strongest skill. Soon after his retirement from professional sports, the father of the interest striker became the Minister of Foreign Trade and Investment of Ecuador, who is now running a development company. Leonardo Campana began his career at the Ecuadorian club Barcelona Guayaquil, with his grandfather Isidro being its president for 15 years. It was during his reign that the club's Estadio Monumental Isidro Romero Carbo, which seats 60,000 fans, was built. Later on, the stadium was named after his grandfather. This is not just an ordinary stadium for Ecuador. At some point, the arena hosted three Copa Libertadores finals, as well as the 1993 Copa America final and the 1995 U-17 World Cup final. But it doesn't end there. Campana has two uncles who also know ins and outs of money-making. Daniel Naboa has built a successful political career and is participating in the presidential race this year. He is considered one of the main contenders for victory. As for his other uncle, Alvaro Campana, he is one of the biggest business tycoons in all of Latin America. Campana's grandmother, Isabel Naboa, is successfully engaged in real estate business, tourism, agriculture, industry and commerce. She is one of the most successful women in South America. The total wealth of Leonardo Campana is estimated at $1.08 billion, which is significantly more than that of Messi, who is about $540 million, and Ronaldo with his $500 million. With all that in mind, some may even find it surprising that Leonardo decided to build a football career. The passion for the game was instilled by his grandfather, and Leonardo does a good job at playing it. In addition to playing alongside Leo Messi himself, Campana has 13 caps for Ecuador and was on contract at Wolverhampton before joining the Herons. In Europe, he also played for Portuguese Falamicao, two goals in nine appearances, and Swiss Grasshopper, three goals in 14 appearances. He is doing much better with Inter Miami, though. 11 goals in 22 MLS fixtures last season and already 7 goals and 4 assists in 29 appearances in all competitions this season. Well, Leonardo Campana's story is quite amazing, isn't it? He didn't have to put in a lot of blood, sweat and tears to the football pitch to score some goals while having so much money, but he chose to. This is what the true passion for football is. Let's give a like to this billionaire from Inter Miami. However, there is a little-known performer even wealthier than Campana. We are talking about Faik Balkia, otherwise known as the richest football player on the planet. But it's unlikely that we will ever see him at any elite-level league, since he plays for the incredibly modest national team of Brunei, which takes 190th place in the FIFA rating. Bolkia's fortune is estimated at a whopping $20 billion. The matter is that Faik is the nephew of one of the richest people on this planet, the Sultan of Brunei, Hassanal Bolkia. 
Despite all the money, playing football has always been Bolkia's dream. He was born in Los Angeles, and in 2014 he joined Chelsea's academy. From there, he ended up at Leicester, where he performed for the club's youth and second teams for several years. Bolkia even has one assist in five UEFA Youth League ties. It was the season after Leicester City's legendary Premier League chime, which gave the youth team the opportunity to play in such a tournament. After parting ways with Leicester City, Bolkia didn't have a very noticeable spell at Portuguese Maritim, only 45 minutes for their second team. Then he found himself in Thailand, where he still plays for the local Ratchaburi. In his national team, Faik is of course the captain, since no Brunei footballer throughout its entire history has studied to play the number one game in England. However, he made only six appearances and scored one goal for his native country. Besides football, Faik works as a photo model and has 243,000 followers on Instagram, which makes him one of the biggest influencers in the country. You know, it's actually impressive that with a fortune of 20 billion euros, Faik still continues to develop and earn money in various fields. It's hard to believe, but for a while after Messi's departure, the richest Barca player was no other than Martin Braithwaite. Yes, yes, that Danish forward from various memes who joined Blaugrana from Leganes. His story is very different from Campana and Balkia. Mostly because the Denmark striker earned his fortune almost single-handedly. The 31-year-old performer owns a real estate empire in the United States, the value of which is estimated at $250 million. The Espanol Ford invested around £617,000 in the business with his uncle Philip Michael back in 2017. Compared to six years ago, his company has already grown 25 times. Martin and his uncle own 1,500 apartments in the United States. In total, Nice Companies owns approximately 500 more properties in Philadelphia and New Jersey that are still under construction. Therefore, Braithwaite's business is not standing still. Here's what the footballer's uncle said about their joint business. It started with our family having been in real estate business for a long time. Here you will find that one of the ways you can build a fortune and secure your fortune financially is by investing in real estate. And that's what I've been doing with my dad and Martin since I came over here. Martin's role is very much about how we do in terms of strategy and vision in the long run. He's involved, but not so involved that it distracts him from football. It's great that even during his career, Martin was open to talk about what he will do in the future. Unfortunately, most players have no idea what to do next in life as soon as they stop playing. Not all of them become coaches or join the club structure. All in all, Braithwaite's example should be useful for many footballers who don't know how to properly invest the earned money. Among today's cases, the one of the former Arsenal and France international midfielder, Mathieu Flamini, should be instructive not only for footballers, but also for all people on the planet who have money to spend. Back in 2008, Flamini had founded the biochemical company GF Biochemicals, the first in the world to mass-produce levolinic acid with its fuel made from vegetable waste, which can be used to create plastic in an eco-friendly way. Forbes already estimates Flamini's fortune at 10 billion pounds. We founded GF Biochemicals with the ambition of finding sustainable alternatives to oil-based products, noted Mathieu a couple of years ago. In other words, Flamini not only found a way to earn huge money after his professional career with the benefit of the environment around us. We are trying to solve the problem of chemical pollution. This investment is the first step on a big path that will also move in the direction of developing key partnership and agreements with major manufacturers of household and industrial goods. Frequent injuries have made Flamini's career less successful than expected, but what he does off the pitch is admirable nevertheless. Guys, we hope that you spend time in our channel with pleasure and benefit. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to keep watching top-notch football videos. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle.
Also, be sure to check out suggested Messi and Incha Miami videos and stay tuned for more content. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.